us Let me clarify my title. I'm actually wearing the eyeshadows and the glitter are all super, super cheap. And that's what I meant by cheap makeup tutorial. Sorry if you guys are pissed off about that. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for 30K. I am super beyond grateful. I will definitely post in my giveaway very, very soon. So stay tuned. Love you guys and I'll see you on my next one. Let's move on. You guys know I always start with the eyes, prep and prime all the way underneath. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the eyeshadows. And as I told you guys, by the title, we're using Costas and Eyeshadow today. These are super, super affordable, you guys. Um, we're talking about like around $2, and they usually have it on sale for maybe one and a half. Hey, Sassy. Am I interrupting you? So that's a pretty bomb deal, and that's what I love the most, that they always pretty much have it on sale. Anyways, we're starting. We're going with the Mubby tones today, because I do have like two different sides of here. They're like orangey and then the mauve tones right here and this is what we're going to be working with today So I'm actually starting with the lightest shade right here Which the camera is actually picking it up a little lighter than what it actually is It's more on the mauve tone shade side Does that make sense? But as per usual you guys, we want to start with the transition shade So I'm going to be applying this all over the crease you see how pretty and like soft this shade is? I freaking freaking love it. And by the way, you guys, every eyeshadow that I use, I'm going to be posting the links to them in the description box. And I'm also going to be telling you which ones I use in order. I'm going to be listing everything in order just so you guys don't get confused or anything like that. Next, I'm taking this pretty shade right here. It's also more mauve tones, you guys. And we're still going to be working on the crease with these shades. So I'm just going to be applying that right on the outer corners and just bringing it all around. And of course, you guys, I am reapplying these shades over and over till I get that intensity. I do feel like this eyeshadow are super super underrated and of course as of eyeshadows you guys know that some eyeshadow of course are better than others okay you guys i feel like i'm not i'm not i thought it was gonna be a little darker but i'm not i'm not getting enough colors as i thought i would but let's keep blending i'm just going back with a more of a fluffy brush and just brushing that crease a little bit just to blend all of that and i did get some fallouts right here by the way, you guys, let me just quickly show you what happens when I dig my brush in this. Like, just from doing this, uh, there is a lot of fallout. Like, I don't think the camera is actually picking it up as much as when I dig my brush in here. Like, just tapping it like this, a lot of um, eyeshadows start just falling down. So it is quite pattery. But I do like how they blend and it's super, super easy to work with, I feel like. Next, I'm taking this next shade, which is called Paprika. I don't know why I find that so funny, Paprika. And I'm going to be repeating the same step, applying it on the outer corner. So I'm mainly going to focus this eyeshadow on the outer corners and onto the crease. I don't know, I feel like they're not giving me much colors. Like, even though I do feel like the camera is washing me out a lot. So I'm actually going to go in with the shade Chocolate because I want to darken the outer corners a little bit more, just little by little. So I'm going to work this on the outer corners and then bringing it onto the crease so i really not liking how this is blending you guys it looks pretty weird so i'm going back just to blend a little bit on the crease and i'm just working this on the outer corners like literally that's it just the outer corner jesus come through this is not working I heard a lot of many people like raving about these eyeshadows, but I'm, I don't know how I really feel about it, you guys. Like, honest, I mean, not all of the Cosmos Sense eyeshadows work like this, obviously. These shades, like the Mobby shades, I don't feel like they get enough in pigmentation, and they're giving me a hard time to blend, and I usually don't have a problem like blending, you know? You guys, if I'm being 100% honest, these eyeshadows are making me question my makeup skills, okay? They. Anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and take some concealer and cut half of the crease because these eyeshadow are just not working for me, sweetheart, okay? So we're gonna cut the crease because that's the right thing to do. You guys might think I'm crazy. Perhaps. So the trick while doing this is to look down, you guys. Never look up. You have to have the lid very extended. Like, don't have it, like, you know, folded, obviously. And then just try to go um, right on your natural crease. Like, just create, a, just follow that same line. I really need, like, smaller brushes to work. Something more precise. So just like that, you feel me? Just like that. And of course, you guys, before you move on to anything, make sure you set the hell out of the eyelid. Because when you apply concealer and then you leave it like that and you fold your eyes, it's gonna get everywhere, sweetheart, okay? So make sure you set the fuck 
kind of it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, it might get in powder. And I'm actually going to be using this baby right here, which is the Airspun Translucent Powder, my favorite one. And just literally just go ahead and like pat it in. And next you guys, we are going to be applying glitter. I'm using this Orbit Orange by Super Glitters. I was legit opening it up upside down like this. That will have gone everywhere, sweetheart. So I'm actually going to be applying the glitter right on the middle right here, just because I want to cover it up. I just realized I wasn't recording, but I just basically, <laughs> basically what the basically I just went ahead and applied the glitter right on the middle right here and not in the inner corners. <sighs> Why are you here? So I apply glitter right in the middle, not in the inner corners, not in the outer corner, and we're actually going to be outlining, like creating a wing practically, but that invisible wing type thing. And then we're gonna add some color to it. So let's go ahead and try to do that right now. So something kind of simple like this, you guys, and of course you wanna repeat the same step and go ahead and set that concealer because obviously we're working with concealer and you don't want it to crease. And first I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take this paprika shade that I use on the crease and I'm going to be applying that kind of like on the middle right here because I'm going to be creating like a faded gradient effect type thing. And then I'm going with a darker shade on the end. And like that, I don't apply it in the entire way, just kind of like in the center. I could have that outline type of effect effect and that's basically it you guys i'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes finish the other eye and i'll be right back so i actually went ahead and applied my foundation just just to get that out of the way just because it's something super simple applying foundation all over the face right by the way i did use the it cosmetic cc plus cream so it's not really a foundation it's more like a color correcting cream yeah i'm also using you guys know i love this thing it's the it cosmetic bye bye under eye and i'm going to be applying that on my under eyes like i think that will cover all my stretch mark like let me but it covers up like a little bit like watch watch how it covers up all my stretch insanely I look at that it covered up everything you guys new shoulders who it is honey who it is i'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with this beauty sponge i really need a new one this is so freaking old and of course i'm going to go ahead and set that using my air sponge translucent powder one of my favorite ones oh no why i haven't bronze that is not the rule. You cannot put any powder until you finish using all cream stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face practically. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. By the way, this is the brushes that I use by Morphe. These are the 360 Contour Nose Contour Kit. I freaking love these, you guys. They're so bomb. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I do find that these shed a little bit. So next time I'm just setting everything now after finishing using all the creamy stuff now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and I don't like to leave powder on for too long just because I'm super super dry or not super but I'm super dry <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and remove everything of course I always like to go back with some bronzer just because of this white cast that I kind of leave on but I do use a large powder brush with some bronzing and just bronze up the whole face before we move on to anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. So first I'm going to be applying that little bit of a chocolate shade right on my lower lash. And I'm kind of swinging the brush back and forth a little bit just to kind of smudge that lower lash line. And then I'm taking a little bit of a mauve shade and I'm just smudging the whole lower lash, like smoking it out practically. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of um, eyeliner on my waterline. Yeah, like that. Next, I'm taking a little bit of this mascara by It Cosmetics, applying a little tiny bit on my lower lash line. And next, the last thing you guys that I'm going to be doing is highlight. I'm actually using Jura Cosmetics. I haven't used it in a while, but I love this BB Plus Illuminator by Jura Cosmetics. I'm just gonna apply a little tiny bit and use this as a base for my actual powder head. And of course, I always go in with my finger just to kind of melt it in with the warmth of the finger. That's the best way to like blend in liquids okay a little too much and i'm using this sophia star powder highlight and now for the lips by the way these are not real jerry 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 star <laughs> jerry star cosmetics these are fake as fuck but don't tell nobody Yeah. <laughs> 